Not for y'all who don't know, because I didn't know who Lil Xan was either. He said in the interview, quote unquote, that he didn't like Tupac because it was boring. So in response to that, Walk Like a Flame told him flat out, it banned from hip hop. And T.I. co signed the statement. Now, I love this, and I feel like we should have been doing shit like this for a long time. Banning these motherfuckers from hip hop, telling them, look, we not about to support you. You know? Just because you ban somebody from hip hop, that doesn't necessarily mean you can stop somebody from making music. But what it does mean is we're not gonna embrace your music, we're not gonna support it, and we're not gonna co sign your bullshit. I feel like if we had been doing this for a while back, we would be dealing with a lot less foolishness in hip hop right now. Some people are saying shit like, well, who the fuck is Walker Flock of Flame to tell anybody they ban? You know, a lot of hip hop legends don't really recognize him or respect his music either. Think about it is, He's been like in the hip hop community long enough and he, he is a real nigga at the end of the day outside of his music. So he's established himself where he can speak on shit like this and have an opinion. Plus, T.I. co signed what he said anyway. And I, a lot of other people are saying, well, you're a hypocrite. How come you ain't come a little Yachty like that? And personally, I agree. The thing about it is what Lil Yachty said, it's the same, but it's a little different. I'm going to tell you why. Lil Yachty said Biggie is overrated. Personally, I feel like I, you can make the argument for Tupac in certain regards, in certain regards, not overall as a rapper. And Biggie, the thing about it is he was so blatant and disrespectful about it, like, I don't even, like, he didn't at least try to defend what he said or anything like that. You you can't come at Legend's head like that. Your opinion, but when you blatantly just saying, oh, well, fuck Biggie or fuck Tupac, fuck Nas, fuck KRS-One or any of that shit like that, or like a couple uh, weeks ago when WAC 100, came in Bone Thugs and Harmony, you just can't do shit like that, bro. These are the pioneers in hip hop who made it possible for you to make music. So it's okay for you to have an opinion, but you, you don't go there with these people, bro. Especially when you're not black. That's another thing that, 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 that it's got them fucked up in this situation, bro. At least Lil Yachty is on us. When you're a little, you know, Hispanic dude who kind of looks like, you know, you can think he's white at first, of course people gonna like tear your ass apart, bro. Like you. You don't do that. Two on my shit list. All of these niggas that talk about doing drugs, like it's nothing. There used to be a time in hip hop where people were talking about the problem with drugs in a black community. Then it went from that to talking about the struggles of being a drug dealer and how it's a hard life. It went from that to niggas glorifying selling drugs, which I guess would be like the 2000 era, which arguably, uh, glorifying selling drugs, that shit ain't good for our community either. But now it's even worse because you got niggas that will get on the track and be like, I pop all these pills. I do all of this shit. I, I snort coke. Like, whatever it is, bro. When did it uh, be, When did it fucking become okay to be a drug addict? Like, I don't see how that's not self-explanatory. I'm not even gonna waste any fucking time talking about this shit. If you think it's okay to sit up and drink lean all day, it up and, and, and do nothing but fucking smoke bath sauce like whatever the fuck you do anything that's a drug it's a fucking drug and it is not okay you need fucking psychiatric help and you obviously didn't get enough love growing up or whatever your situation is stop telling the young kids that listen to your music that it's okay up and talk shit like all day because this could go on forever but the video would be too long but i'm gonna just go to the third criteria Niggas that can't actually rap. That's probably the most, arguably the worst thing. I could talk about uh, date raping in hip hop. I could talk about uh, excessive black on black crime that we promote. I could talk about so much shit. I could talk about fake thugs like Soulja Boy, 6 9 9 but what's the point? When if you, if, if you could be talking about anything, but if you can actually rap, if you actually entertain it, then Okay, at least it would make sense that people would be suckered in and get brainwashed by your music or support it. But a lot of these niggas can't even fucking rap. So it's like, what do you get? Like, little pump, people like that. Like, you, you, you go over this all fucking day. Me personally, I feel like Kodak Black is overrated. I feel like, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, he's nowhere near that little pump. I feel like Lil Uzi is, 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 is overrated. I feel like, uh,. Fucking Lil Yachty's over. A lot of these niggas that get into the, the rap game, people are like, oh, he's this and all this. Like, the standards are really low, bro. 
Like, it's sad when mumble rappers are actually mainstream and, like, that's what the standards are. That's why Kendrick Lamar and um, J. Cole, people like them, that's why people think they the best rappers that there are. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they aren't very, very talented, for this, but it's for this generation, it makes them look like fucking gods because everybody else is terrible. There are a lot of rappers that are unknown, that are, are, that are mainstream, that are actually better than them. Not to take away from anything, but that's why we look at these niggas like they practically gods these days. Because there's no competition. So my thing about it is, you have all of this bullshit going on, right? All of this shit that I just set up and talked about in this video. Where are all these older, uh, you know, rappers and shit like that? People get mad when Joe Budden says shit, you know, he critiques him. But the thing about it is, you need people like him. Criticism is actually a big part of everything. You need people to tell you, you shouldn't do that. That's terrible. You could call someone a hater just because they don't like something, but if it's a legitimate reason, can't really argue with that. The truth is the truth. The truth doesn't give a fuck about your feelings. So when people get mad at people like Joe Budden, like, oh, he's too old and shit like that, you need to be paying attention to people like that. They're really telling the truth. You act like we don't want to hear it. Nah. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that everybody who has something bad to say necessarily should be listened to. Some people just rant or just talk shit for no reason. What I'm saying is, we need to pay attention to people who are telling the truth about these bullshit ass rappers. And we need to stop co-signing everything that these niggas do, bro. Because then that's going to pave the way for more bullshit and hip hop. We keep telling these rappers, oh, it's okay to uh, do drugs and all that type of shit. We're going to listen to it regardless. We're we not going to say, you know what, this nigga's a junkie. Talk about some different shit. They ain't going to step their game up, bro. They not. Before you know it, we're going to have rappers, you know, huh? snorting fucking lines in the middle of interviews and shit like that. We don't tell these rappers, you know what, you need to uh, put more respect on women's name. Rap is going to get more misogynistic and it's going to get more disrespectful to women. We live in a different time now. Women not even necessarily going for that bullshit. You're going to get more ratchet-ass rappers like Cardi B and shit like that. And they're, they want to compete with men, so they're going to be talking shit too. So that's going to divide men and women even more. I mean, if you ignorant enough to let music do that to you. But with... with it's like, like I said, I can go on for so long, but people need to call out this bullshit a lot more. So yes, I agree with Walker Flocker Flame is saying. And I feel like more people need to step forward and say shit like that. 